Well, hello people of YouTube. I'm um, just decided to turn my radio on tonight. And this has just literally happened overnight. Uh, and I, don't, I have no idea what's caused it. Now, every night I always have my radio unplugged. Uh, and the coax pulled out from it. Uh, and this is the second time I've had a radio, a Yesu, uh, had this, with, with this problem. You know, this problem's happened to it. As you, as you can see, I've got the squelch on now. Okay, the volume is up. The volume's at 12 degrees there. Let's zoom in on that. The volume's at 12 degrees. Sorry if this is loud to you, but I'm not, not going to knock the squelch off to show you the squelch is on. There you go. The squelch is definitely on. Alright. It's only just up, as you can see me moving that dial there. Try and show you again. There you go. Moving that dial, and the dial is the squelch is just on. However, when I key up with my handheld here, which is on low power, as you can see, same frequency, no matter what I do, if I tone burst that, oops, it's obviously not set to tone burst, but no matter what I do, let me just blow into that. The radio will not come off squelch and uh, have the audio play through the speaker. Now I've tried it through a loudspeaker, I've tried it all different ways. Uh, like I say, I don't know what's cracking off with it here. This is the second time I've had a Yesu that's had this problem with it. It's out of warranty unfortunately, so I can't take it back. Uh, and the only way to, to receive any FM transmissions is to have the squelch off. Which, as you can imagine, is very annoying. If I have the squelch off... Testing, one, two, three. It works perfectly fine. And as soon as the squelch goes back on again... <laughs> testing, one, two, three. Nothing happens. It just completely dies. Uh, in terms of receiving anything. And I've got no idea what, what's causing it. No idea why it's happening. It's just a damn annoying thing, like I say, this is the second Yesu I've had that's had this problem. And as far as I'm aware, they're the same board that's in them, okay, well, the same sort of radio, just uh, the same, you know, obviously different size, different size difference in there. I'm actually not too sure if the board is the same. I just know there's a lot more expansion bay uh, capability in the 897. I actually built my own battery pack for my 897 to have it uh, portable base. But, um... You know, I never had the chance to go out anywhere because I didn't have a car at the time. Uh, if anybody knows what this problem is, can you please get back to me on it? Uh, because it's absolute pain. Every time I get a Yesu, it seems to have this problem. Uh, apart from obviously my handheld, which is working quite nicely. But uh, that doesn't do uh, HF, obviously. It's the only radio I've got at the moment which is HF capable, apart from old crappy CBs. Uh, but uh, I actually had that given to me, that one. It's an old Tri-Star thingy majingy. Uh, just, a, just a bit of fun. Uh, I was going to put it in my car so I could talk back home to my brother, um, as he hasn't got a license yet. Uh, obviously we can use the CB, license free nowadays. So I was going to stick it in my car and have that in my car. I had it given to me by a friend. Uh, Needed a bit of work doing to it, but uh, hey, it lives now and it works, transmits good, and hey ho, I uh, got myself a, a free B Tri Star, which is quite nice. With uh, with thanks to Slugworth, uh, if you're watching this, you know who you are. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, yeah. Like I say, if uh, if anybody knows what the problem is with the squelch on my radio here, I've tried going through all the settings. I've tried selecting over the AF because uh, the the thing does it, the the switch the switch the dial does the same thing as uh, AF and squelch. At the moment, as you can tell, it is set to squelch, not AF. Um, the AF is set, you know. Well, I'm not really sure. It's it's set all the way up. I'm not even sure of the menu, to be honest. Um, factory settings. Um, 
Yeah, I even I even reset all the factory settings on the radio. The ASU is quite funny. Uh, I don't know any other radio out there where they have the factory default settings set to full power. Um, it's quite ridiculous, really. But as soon as you get one of these babies out of the box, you plug it in, check the power power level, and it's set to the absolute maximum capability the radio can handle, which is not good. It's uh, it's quite a, a a bad thing on Yesu's behalf. Uh, doing that is you've got to be really careful if you buy one of these brand new. You don't go plugging it into a uh, to an knackered old aerial. Uh, you know what I mean? Of course, the thing will chuck out full power, and uh, you'll end up killing it. But um, yeah, like I say, I've I've gone through all the menus. I've reset everything on it. Flashed the whole thing. You know the memories, everything, the the settings. The whole thing's been taken back to uh, factory defaults, uh, but still the problem exists. I just cannot seem to fix it. But, uh, it is quite annoying. So if anybody knows uh, a way of getting around it, I know there's a secret menu. I'm not sure how to get into that, and I don't. I don't really want to play with that setting because I'm told you can set the radio uh, off and whatnot. So I don't even know how to get into that. So you, I've not touched it. If anybody knows uh, what's gone off with it, please do comment and tell me, uh, either as a message or uh, as a response to this video. Uh, you know, comment at the bottom of the uh, the page here. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Uh, please get back to me on it, even if you don't, even if you do know, and you just don't want to, you don't want to, you know, really can't, you can't be bothered to chat. Please, please, please chat and tell me. You know, please comment and tell me why it's doing it. Because, like I say, this is the second Yeso I've had, and it's, it's done exactly the same thing as the one before. And I ended up selling it with the fault, and getting it, uh, getting you know, uh, severely reduced uh, funds of what the radio was worth. Because it had this ridiculous fault on it that they always seem to get. So, uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. From John here, M6JDM. And uh, before you flame me saying uh, you didn't, uh, what do you call it, give my call sign over the amateur band, yeah, as I did before. Um, on the, it's, uh, it's only one channel down from calling anyway, so. Is it one? Uh, I'm not sure now. Can't remember. 25 KCs down. Ah, I can't remember now. Um, whatever, it's late at night. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out.